There's one specific genre of YouTube that nobody has really talked about. Because while on the outside it seems like a very innocent YouTube genre as a whole, there are many problems that I personally have with it. And it's not just me, I've spoken to a lot of my other friends and they feel the same way. And this is mostly due to the fact that insecurity plays a huge role in why this genre on YouTube even exists in the first place. And the more I thought about this whole topic, the more it really seemed not that great overall. This genre of YouTube is the advice sector but more specifically, YouTube advice channels. While touching on this predatory market, there are some factors at play with this whole situation. You have the insecurity of the small YouTubers. You have all this free content that all of these YouTube advice channels are giving. And you have the paid courses in case some diehard fans really want to be a YouTuber. You have some examples of some people that are very notable in the space and a lot that I have personal experiences with as well. The personal experiences of me and my friends regarding this whole situation and wrapping it all up to make you really consider why these channels exist in the first place and why nobody has really talked about it. These channels prey on upcoming YouTubers' insecurities. People like me were sucked into this genre, along with some of my friends, and overall it really hurt us in the end, and demotivated some of us to even just quit YouTube overall. Now most of these YouTube advice channels are pretty predatory overall, due to the fact that they use this insecurity of these small YouTubers to the advantage of the advice channels by acting like all they really want to do is help, when really, they just want your wallet realistically. All these people with like the mindset of like being a YouTuber means you need to have the most subscribers, the most growth. You have to, you know, be on top of it 24 seven. It is the worst mindset you could go into with YouTube. It's the mindset I went into with it. It's the mindset that took me years and years to get out of. And I don't even know if I want to make my own videos anymore to be completely honest, because like I went into it was with like, you know, my head held, uh, held up high and like, oh you my know, God, I'm going to, I'm going to get a thousand million subscribers and I'm going to make a ton of money off of this. But realistically, that just doesn't work that way. There's always a possibility of it happening, but the possibility of it happening is just so unbelievably low that, you know, it's just not worth chasing after for years and years and years. You might as well just make something that you love and just do that for the rest of your life instead of just focusing on the numbers and the money. When touching on this predatory market, <laughs> I see what I did there. They say nothing is truly free, and I definitely agree with that. These people who are making all this free content are business people. They're focused on the money and getting all these sales, not actually trying to make quality YouTube content. They make content about content, but not in like an entertaining or informative way, but rather in a subtle way that makes it seem like they want to help you, when really all they want is your money. Most of the info they're spouting out isn't even helpful in the grand scheme of things, because YouTube is a more complicated machine and it's always changing every single day. So even attempting to say that you understand the YouTube algorithm, it falls on deaf ears. So just because you follow every single little thing that this advice channel says that you should do, it will never guarantee success. Currently, it's all about the title and thumbnail metagame, where the quality of the content barely matters as long as your click-through rate is all good. How do I know this? Because YouTube advice channels exist. While I myself would never become a YouTube advice channel, even though I tried to dip into that years ago with literally one video because I totally knew everything about YouTube back then, currently, I make reviews about indie games and indie projects in general because I want to support the independent artists of our generation. But with that, I'm not going to clickbait the title and the thumbnail for the sake of views. I want to be genuine and honest of what the video is actually about. With that said, a lot of people like to steal styles of thumbnails. It's a very clear culprit in this YouTube game. And with that, you have everybody now trying to be Mr. Beast, which means every single title and thumbnail now has to be somewhat Mr. Beastified by copying his exact style of making a thumbnail. It seems harmless, right, on the outside completely harmless. But once you sit down to think about the why of these YouTube advice channels making this free content, it becomes very clear. You start to realize that they are using people to get more views with their content about making content, which isn't really actually contributing anything to the platform, realistically. Just advice that you either won't use, or even if you do use it, it doesn't work because, well, it doesn't work for everyone. To some, it's very clear that the advice 
won't work or isn't working, or they're only making these channels to get more eyes and more attention on their YouTube channel when they're not making actual YouTube content, meaning content about content, not like genuine, unique art. It's very clear that some people want to be YouTubers. I'm pretty sure it's the most sought after job with Gen Z, which means there's going to be people that are going to capitalize on that fact alone. Not everyone is going to be successful by following all of these advice channels. Sure, some people may at Admit that they want to help people when really they could literally stop caring about that once they finally have your money to put this into perspective I never got a thanks for buying Gary Vee's book like how to do it in a way but they're also doing the better way of doing it which is you know real people and clickbait them give them something that they want and then BAM your numbers go up your money shoots up your subs go up everything goes up now we can't talk about this topic without mentioning the fact that all of these people have paid courses every single if you are a youtube advice channel there is at least one link that you will basically have to pay for if you click on it because it's either a course or a book or a one-on-one -on -one session with them the free videos that they make really are only used to get the attention of these paid courses or whatever they're actually trying to sell while youtube videos are free some links in the description may not be free most of them probably aren't it really annoys me because YouTube started as this platform for independent creators to create whatever they wanted. And it was great. But over the years, YouTube became more corporate. And with that, more and more people started to get into YouTube with that business mindset. Not to make art, but to profit from it with their courses or books or one-on-one -on -one sessions or how to make a thumbnail. I'm gonna teach you how to make a thumbnail, but you gotta pay me money. Because with these people, you have to pay money to actually talk to them. With me, all you literally have to do is just join my Discord server. Don't have to pay for that. Now I have to mention something else real quick since some of you may have caught on to something very specific. Some of you may have noticed that I myself have a Patreon link in the description. The YouTubers I'm currently talking about are not the ones who are genuinely trying to make quality content, whether it be entertaining or informative. I'm totally fine with the YouTuber having a Patreon most of the time, as long as they put actual effort into their videos. And do you want to know the dumbest thing about all of this? People are literally selling courses with info that you could just find for free on the internet. Why pay for these courses? Honestly, I'd rather just get advice from an actual YouTuber than one of these advice channels. There's a reason why PewDiePie's video on how to be a YouTuber is the most popular video on the topic. Hmm crazy. It's because he's honest with no ulterior motive. PewDiePie doesn't have a paid course to teach you how to be a YouTuber. It's that simple. There is nothing practical or anything to these courses. It is simply just another business thing just to get some money. And that's all it ever will be. Because there's no set in stone way to ever become a YouTuber with big numbers. There's just no way to do it. Because everybody who has big numbers is doing something completely different from the other guy who has big numbers. I have some very specific examples of the big players in this predatory market. Roberto Blank, VidIQ, Think Media, Nick Nimmin, Video Influencers, and Gary Vee. Now what we are going to be looking for with all these creators is if they have any paid courses or links that direct you to a page where you have to pay money. That's basically what we're looking for. Roberto Blank. Get the YouTube starter kit buy my book YouTube starter kit what is this where's how much is it because it ain't for free buy the YouTube starter yep so I'm right a hundred dollars for information you can get for free on the internet bruh fit IQ about section what do I have more YouTube views what is this more YouTube views section Sign up for free. I think vidIQ is an actual like program though. I don't think it's like a course. Oh, no, I was wrong. Okay, I was I was way too optimistic. Supercharge YouTube channel boost. Uh, $40 a month or basic, which is free, which uh, that's basically what the YouTube analytics store is anyway. So there really isn't that much of a change. So yeah, $40 a month, a month. Okay, think media uh, for free YouTube masterclass. My book, YouTube secrets. There's a book, a conference, or you can get on a call. Call. betting you now it's not free <laughs> what do you have for us nick <laughs> nick nick Nimmin's thumbnails are just all the same get graphics for your YouTube videos all right graphics most likely not going to be free right pretty sure it's not ultimate one stop shop uh-huh monthly mem membership 17 dollars 97 dollars for an annual lifetime 247 dollars 
<laughs> no thanks, dude. I'm good. <laughs> Video influencers. YouTube Secrets books. So they have a book that they're selling. Gary Vee has books, some shoes, uh, NFTs. Yikes. The truth is, I got suckered in with Gary Vee, but that's a whole entire topic in and of itself because Gary is really into the hustle culture, which in turn is bad because several friends and I were hooked because we're all workaholics. But then we felt like Gary was on this celebrity pedestal, and not all of us have realized that yet. I'm still trying to help my friends realize that this man is not only ridiculous in his examples. Genuinely sit there for five minutes and make pretend one of them got shot in the face. But that because of this workaholic culture, Gary had us all tricked into watching his free content and influenced us in ways I didn't even realize at the time. Every minute that you can apply to your game, you need to. I bought his book and I even made a video about him, which I now regret because now I see past the veil. He's now doing NFTs and has made shoes in the past that some people I know personally have actually bought, which further goes into the delusion of Gary V, which is brainwashing hustle culture culture and workaholics. So now we're at film booth, right? This is a very interesting one that I'm going to mention real quick. Uh, work with me, thumbnail workshop, YouTube graphics, avatar workshop. None of those are free. I can bet on that. Now, film booth is a very interesting section of this genre. It is very different from the rest of the channels. I will admit that. This one is all about the clickbait thumbnail and title game. Where every single time I see this guy's thumbnails, I immediately want to click every single time. That's how good good the thumbnails are. You want to know why I want to click? It's because the insecure part of my brain wants to know all the secrets to YouTube to make it big. It goes back to that insecurity of like, oh, oh my, my content, content isn't, isn't good enough. enough. Please help me, senpai. senpai. What the numbers? I will give him the fact that his content is actually genuinely entertaining, which is very hard for me to say, but I have to admit that at least with this specific channel, it's just a weird contrast to the rest, honestly, by actually trying to make quality content by talking about the same topics as everyone else. By use of literally every single video technique in the book, but he still has, you know, those four paid things in his bio. Also claiming that he legit has helped people before. I don't know if that's fact or not, so I can't really fact check that. But of course you have to pay him money first, so either way, doesn't really matter. You still have to give him money first in order to, you know, have success. Otherwise, well, then you won't know the actual advice on how to be successful. <laughs> Buy my course. This case study is just way different from the rest, as you can tell. Because I like how the guy makes his content. I just don't like the subject of the content. Because honestly, it just plays on people's insecurities, which is why so many people click his titles and thumbnails, because they want to know the secrets. I'm just really surprised that no one has talked about this before, which is why I talked to my friend Mateo about this subject. Drew Gundy recently, he did, he took like Ninja's course or something like that and nothing happened. He did everything that Ninja told him to do and nothing happened because he's not Ninja. He is not Ninja. No one else is Ninja. You're not going to be Gary V. You're not going to be the guy who's charging you $200 for a course. You're not going to be any of these people. The only reason they stand out and have numbers is because they are who they are. They have their own personality, their own little cult following, Church of Gary V type thing. You know, they buy his books and shirts and merch and courses and all that crap and listen to his podcast because that's the guy that they want to be. They're trying to replicate exactly what this one person is doing. At some point have to realize they can't do that because that person already exists. You know what I mean? I used to watch these channels for years, especially during my very early years of my channel. I eventually gave up watching because everything they said was counterintuitive to how I made videos. I've only learned actually one useful thing in the hundreds of videos that I've watched over the years that has actually improved the quality of my content. It's layering every other video so that way the transition between the video clips are much smoother and the video flows way better. I'm literally doing it now. And even that piece of advice wasn't even from an advice channel. It was from a video editor's channel. Everything on YouTube is a complete coin toss, right? It's a it's a complete game of luck. Everybody says it's a game of luck, and it is. And it always will be, you know, with the changing algorithms and the trending topics and everything. It's an impossible wild goose chase, and it's gonna burn you out eventually anyway. So you might as well just be a hobbyist and do it for fun.
The most ironic part about all of this is that although these are YouTube advice channels, we haven't actually seen success from anybody who's watched these channels. It's only the small content creators who realistically are not only insecure about their channel and their numbers and their growth, because why else would they be watching these videos, but only to be stuck with five more years of grind time on their channel, but them still not having success. I'm not saying it's impossible to be successful on YouTube by following these people's advice or paying for their courses. I'm just saying that it's very unlikely. Once you consider the true reason as to why this genre exists is to prey on the weaklings. Dude, if you want to use like any of my voice messages in your video, go right ahead. I, I seriously don't mind if you actually end up doing it.